Welcome to Business Live. I'm Mark Crosscray in BL tonight. Limeners and Bars Limited, better known as the Lab, powering through the first quarter or the Q1, res Q1 results, earnings up 40%. That's whopping returns in terms of the earnings per share, which we're going to talk about despite the pandemic COVID-19. Now, the company goes on to say, the chairman, Stephen Gooden, and the CEO, Kimala Bennett, that reporting strong results due to strong core business lines, that's media placement, production, and so forth. Earnings per share, EPS, surging to Jamaican seven cents for, for Q1 versus five cents year over year per share. Now, the revenue numbers, that's the top line, came in at Jamaican 356 million, up from 262 million year over year. And this is for the quarter, January 31st, 2021. Now trading in shares here, we're talking about JMMB here. Connected party selling just over half a million units, 530,001. We just spoke about JMMB preference shares doing very well yesterday and being oversubscribed hugely. In this case here, trading in their shares. Once their earnings come out, sometimes you see this connected parties or directors making a move. This is not a lot of shares. JMMB has you know quite a lot of issued share capital on the market, so half a million for them is not a large number. This trade happened March 15th, 2021. Now along the same kind of thread, NCB Financial Group here, trading in their shares as well, corporate action item, a sale, connected party selling, 300,000 units, right there on that number or on the button on March 11th, 2021. Now some interesting facts, tidbits, global markets, in terms of yields, a lot of analysts out there, global analysts, also in the Caribbean are saying be wary of bonds. For investors out there, uh, whether your brokerage house, whether you're a securities dealer, whether you're an investment banker, anybody gave you some warning many years ago, whether it's on the Digicel bonds or other bonds in the marketplace. The point is the 10 year treasury now, it's moving up. You also have some kind of warning, you know, signs or signals on inflation. You've seen that out there from the bankers. Last up, big news as well. A lot of FinTech news, a lot of payments, transaction processors. Now Stripe, two young Irish guys here, 30 and 32 years old, worth market cap. Let's talk about market cap, not their personal net worth. We're talking about 95 billion US dollars here. So based on new valuation reports, so raising about 600 million US dollars here, that's Stripe, you know, jumping many companies' valuations that were all the craze. So fundraise, 600 million US dollars, 95 billion US dollar valuation. The one before this valued the company at 36 billion US dollars. So this is more than doubling that last valuation. So the point is transaction processing is where Stripe is doing the deals, making its money. Again, mobile wallet, debit cards, credit cards, very interesting. I'm Mark Crossgrave, this is Business Life.